Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're in my kitchen and I wanted to go ahead and cook some turkey burgers. I have a pretty decent recipe that I wanted to share with you guys today. It's something that even my sister's kids, my nephews, they like. These boys do not like turkey burgers and when I made it in Vegas, they actually really enjoyed it. So I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and switch it up like I've been doing lately and <laughs> try something new and just have a cooking moment with you guys. So if that sounds like fun, stick around because I'm about to get into it. But before I do, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out a lot and it is always greatly appreciated. And with that being said, let's get cooking. Okay, so I've got my oh so awesome ground turkey, I've got mushrooms, I've got already pre-diced onions, I've got garlic paste, I've got cilantro paste, I've got Lowry seasoned salt, and I've got pepper. So that's basically what we're going to be doing today for the, the whole, you know, recipe and the whatnot. I'll leave it below if you guys are interested in recreating it. I kind of hope you are because if you haven't tried it like this already, I think you're going to really like it. I have my little bowl here and I'm going to go ahead and get started by putting the turkey in said bowl. My hands are clean. You're probably going to watch me wash my hands a lot in this video, which is, you know, something I always do when I cook. I think it's, it's a good practice. So into the pot goes our turkey. Ta -da! That aside, and we'll go ahead and get started on the rest of the stuff. Speaking of washing my hands, I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so set this aside here, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our mushrooms. I feel like this is a key part to this recipe because it gives it almost like a red meat kind of texture and taste. So the mushrooms are a pretty big deal for that. Let me do my little mise en place here. Mushy time. So I just want to chop this up as finely as I possibly can so that it blends in with the turkey meat. I don't mind having sauteed mushrooms on my turkey burgers, but when I'm trying to put it inside the whole turkey burger mix, I don't want big giant chunks of mushroom to bite into it. It's not going to taste very good this way. So I just want to mince this up as finely as I can so that it just blends easily. You only need a few mushrooms for this. A little goes a long way. Pretty good, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the bowl with our turkey. Now I got a lot of pre-diced stuff here so that I could save time. There are, there are times where I'll just go ahead and, and mince it all myself, but today we're just gonna go with this. <laughs> Because it's quick and it's easy. And I don't mind the larger pieces of onion in here because it's gonna it's gonna cook down and shrink up a bit. Next we're gonna grab our little garlic here. I like this brand. And I like the paste rather than the big chunks of garlic because I've had times where I've made this recipe and I've bitten into that big chunk of garlic clove and it's just not very pleasant. So I'm gonna say about a generous portion, like what, a tablespoon and a half maybe, maybe a little more. And then we're gonna grab our cilantro and this is a brand new one that I got just for today's occasion. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there too. Pretty decent amount. It looks weird, but I promise you, it is freaking delicious. Next, we got our Lowry seasoned salt. I wanna be fairly generous with that too. Don't want it to be bland. A little bit of pepper. and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Should look about like that. And then I'm just gonna mush it up. Make sure everything gets all nice and blended together. And when it's all done, it's gonna look like this. 
much all blended in together. That's how you want it to look. All right. so it doesn't need a whole lot. Let's get started. About medium heat. We've got our oil at a nice temperature here, and I'm just forming the turkey patties and laying them in the pan. I probably won't do any more than four because I don't want to crowd the pan too much. Let them cook. Put these babies in flip. Get them nice and done. That's what we want to see. Oh, that one can go a little bit longer. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and work on our toppings. I'm gonna do a little avocado. Baby Dills. suckers. Oh wait, let's do it so maybe you guys can see. Here, let me move that over. There. going to use some of this salad lettuce because I don't have the um, uh, I don't have a head of iceberg lettuce so I'm just going to use this and it works fine in the sandwiches. I also have some cheese because I like cheese on my turkey burger. I'm going to use Colby Jack today. Can you guys see that? It's kind of blurry. Yeah. So we're going to use some Colby Jack today. Cut that sucker open. My trusty kitchen scissors. Do, 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 do. Put some of that out there. Yum. Okay, so I got our little thins. I prefer these buns when I'm doing turkey burgers so I don't have too much <laughs> bread. I'm trying to do a little bit of a low carb moment here in my life, but I'm gonna go ahead and heat these up. And this is optional. You don't have to do it, but if you want to, you can. A little bit of butter. You don't need much, it's a non-stick pan. Melt that down a little bit, turn the heat down low. Grab one of our little thins, place it in there. Just gonna get a little bit of that butter on there and brown them up a little bit. It tastes really good. I'm excited. So 
So here is our beautiful toasted bun. Here's our little turkey patty on there. I just wanted to show you guys that you wanna make sure that it's thoroughly cooked, no pink at all. Always 165 for poultry. Make sure it's all the way done. It's not like red meat, can't do it medium rare. Just, you know, just for safety's sake to say that. Now I wanna go ahead and melt the cheese on my turkey. And you can either stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds or you can go ahead and put it back on the grill. It's entirely up to you. I'm gonna put it in the microwave real quick. Super melty cheese, yum. Oh my gosh, yum. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of that mixed lettuce. A little bit of avocado. Some pickles in there. Ah, oops. Yes, my phone is ringing. I'm ignoring it. Mayo, a little mustard, one more pickle just for fun. Some Cape Cod chippies on the side, and there you have it, guys turkey burger. Mm hmm. Okay, big bite. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. This recipe is so freaking good, you guys. You're gonna love it. If you haven't tried this already, please, please try it. It's freaking amazing. If I do say so myself. And I do. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos and I'll do them more often. What fun. I mean, I'm gonna cook anyway, so, you know, I may as well. So that's my little turkey burger recipe. I will leave everything that I use to create it down below in the description box if you guys wanna go ahead and try it yourself. It's actually really good. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think you'll actually really like it. And if you do, let me know what you think in the comments, so. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish my dinner. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you all in the next one.